All right, you guys, my first meeting of the tripod. First one in my new Healing Laura journey that started July 5th of 2024. It'll run all the way to July 5th of 2025. I just completed one full year of doing that. I did it July 5th of 2023 to July 5th of 2024. And I did it, I'll put a video right here where I give you a recap update and then I talk about what I wanna do with my channel and things like that. Let's talk you guys, let's talk at the tripod. I'm gonna be working out. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing and then I'm gonna show you my outfit as well. But we're gonna talk my weight. I'm gonna talk about my weight. I'm gonna tell you what I'm so determined to do. So I am on a ketogenic diet. Uh, the last time in that video that I linked, I weighed 173.4, 173.6, I think that's what I weighed on July 7th of 2024. I always say the year, I don't know why. Anyway, I weighed July 7th. And uh, that's the lowest I've weighed in a very, very long time. Uh, my son is 22 years old. Uh, I think I weighed that before I got pregnant or just a little bit after I had him. So it's been that long since I've seen that low of a number. Okay, but I've been in the 170s now for far too long, far too long. I think I hit them, I don't know, you guys, maybe May or something, maybe even April. No, yeah, I think it was middle of April, early May. I hit the 170s and I basically been here, you know, up and down a couple pounds, but stable, steady. And that's a really good thing for me because what I've been through, what I'm going through, the stresses that I, I, I'm going through because I'm healing and I, I am really working on a lot of things in my life, things that typically would keep me going high, 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 high. Maintaining a 170 right now for me is, is amazing. However, I don't want to be here, okay? I don't want to be here. But I do need to say something before, <laughs> before. I need to say something that happened. This past Sunday, okay, this past Sunday, it was very emotional Sunday. Um, when you talk about healing and dealing with issues, it was one of those days that definitely was all-consuming and very, um, very involved, let's just say. And so I did have Raising Cane's that day. I had Raising Cane's this past Sunday, which was what, what was last I wanted Sunday. to make sure what day it was. It was the 14th, okay? It was the 14th. And it was just, it was a day that needed to be, at the end of it, though, it was a good outcome. It was, it was good. But, you know, you guys, when it comes to healing and working on, I'm, go, I'm in therapy right now. You guys, I'm in therapy. Been working really, really hard on myself really uh, learning a lot about myself, growing, being aware and everything. And sometimes, just sometimes, and some, some of you will understand this, you're going to have days like this where you're really put to the challenge sometimes, right? And so healing isn't always so smooth. You know, there's, you know, I always think about like growing pains, you know, to grow, to change. There's sometimes you have pain in that. You know, like you have growing pains when you're young or something like that. Or when you're trying to purge things, it hurts, right? And some to get better. That's how I look at Sunday for me. That's what it was. It was just a day that had to be, it was tough, it was hard, but there was a good outcome. But nonetheless. And so what happened for me uh, was that I had Raising Cane's. And Raising Cane's is a, a fast food place. Uh, chick like they sell chicken fingers and things. And I had that around, uh, let's see, maybe 2 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock. And like I said, it was just, it was just an all-day thing. It was very intense. And then uh, I will say about 10.30 at night, I was downstairs getting some packages ready for, for the Monday shipping. And I ended up making me some quesadillas. Now, I will have to say, I had two quesadillas. I will have to say... From last year's journey, right, Health Quest is what I called it, and the beginning of this, this uh, Healing Laura journey, that is the first time that I can remember that I sort of gave in to the day, the whole day. You know what I mean? Like usually I ate out and then I stopped it. You know what I mean? I moved on. But that day was sort of an all day thing where I was, I knew in my mind that, I, I, you know, I'm just, you know. <laughs> not going to be on my keto. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, that's what the kind of a day I had. Okay. 
And so I ended up weighing on Monday because typically I weigh Sunday to I weigh in Sunday to Sunday. But because of the situation, the way it was, I ended up weighing in on Monday morning. And so let me go ahead and show you right here what it was. Yeah, that is a 6.6 .6 pound increase. That's a lot. I don't know. I have a hard time believing it's all inflammation. I really, really do. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not sure why that number is 173.6 to 180. 6.6 .6 pounds. Regardless, you guys, I got on the scale a couple of times and that is where it landed. So it is what it is, you guys. It is what it is. And I am tired. I, I am determined. I am determined to get into the 160s, okay? Determined. All right, so it is 9.30 now and I've been here talking forever. So I'm just determined. I, I, I want to get into the 160s. So the focus for me is movement and keto bore. I sit, I'm too sedentary all day. And I know that about me. We I've even brought that up to you guys many, many times. Very, very sedentary. And I am going to really work on this week is pur purposeful movement. It's Tuesday today. Yeah, it's Tuesday today, but this week I'm doing purposeful movement. All right, so today I knew I was gonna have a little bit of a busy day. I was gonna have to go out and do some things. In fact, I just got in around 8.30. And I made my hamburger patties and some like sausage links. And that's what I had. I came home and I ate. Okay. Uh, but I have already worked out this morning. I said to myself, I need to concentrate on my health and healing and movement is going to be at the top with keto war. Okay. So I got up and I worked out. I'm trying to get a workout in the morning. And what do I do is belly dancing. So let me go ahead and show you my outfit so we can get on this because it's getting really, really late. Let me tell you guys, I'm hot. I'm hot. It's around, I don't know, upstairs. It's like, I don't know, 86, 85. It was like 90 just a little bit ago. Let me get a little bit of water. I'm, I'm really hot. Let me show you my outfit. I just bought these pants. I just went to uh, Ross. I had to go to Ulta. I had to go pick up some uh, face, uh, like the face balm to remove your makeup. And then I had to go to the grocery outlet. That's where I went. But there was a Ross in there and I thought, oh my gosh, you know, let me stop in there real quick. It's, it's kind of like a new one. Anyway, I found these pants. I found these pants by Thrive Society. They're from Flex Time, or Flex Time, but it's from, oh, I think I have you on Cinematic. I sure do. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, Flex Time by Thrive Society. And they were on sale for $7.99. That's not going to show. $7.99. And they're a large, you guys. They're a large. And when I saw them, they looked like this. They looked tiny. But the stretch was pretty good. And it didn't feel like that stretch that would hurt. It felt like that one that would feel like skin. And I was right. So, let me so here are the pants, you guys. Oh, my gosh. They feel so amazing. I love, and I don't have this color, and it goes with my scarf that I bought at the, at my, one of my favorite thrift stores a little bit ago. Uh, so I have my scarf, it's, a, it's like a mesh scarf, and then my other medallion scarf. And this is a top that you've seen before, but it's the pants that we need to focus on. I can't believe it. $7.99, that's not bad, and it feels so, so good. So good. All right, guys, so a whole week of just movement, keto bore. Movement and keto bore. That's what I'm focused on because we are going to get out of the 180s once and for all, swoosh, <laughs> kind of fly by the 170s to get to the 160s. Determined. All right, so let me show you what I'm going to be doing or tell you. This one is called How to Shimmy Like a Pro. Mastering Belly Dance Shimmies, and it's with Belly Motions with Portia. Now, I did this this morning for the very, very first time, and we go through a lot of different shimmies. This is going to run 29 minutes and 25 seconds, and it's, it's shimmy, shimmies of the chest, different shimmies of the hips, and it's done in different ways, and it's so, so fun. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it, okay?
with warm up here. Bend knee shimmy. Okay, check me out. Relax arms. Hands on hips. Rock those hips. Rock. good I'm determined this week I'm going to be focused in on um, movement ketovore about um, 15 grams or less of keto ketovore uh, I should get my keto shakes this week I should I'm hoping at least by I ordered them Sunday like 11 o'clock at night midnight around there uh, going into Monday, um, I ordered them. Um, so I'm thinking they might be here by Friday. I'm hoping. And that's the reason why I'm excited is because it's a real sure way for me to get in my protein. One of those drinks is like 26 grams of protein. I would like to get it not having protein shakes, but right now that is just what's working for me. And I just I want to stick with that. And so I, I do the keto chow ones. It's not an affiliate. I'm not sponsoring them. I'm not, you know, I don't have an affiliate or anything with them. They don't even know who I am <laughs> other than, you know, ordering from them. <laughs> but uh, it's just, it's just what works for me in terms of getting, you know, about a hundred, 120 
overall grams of protein. So definitely gonna be focusing on protein this week. I find it hard still, but I feel so much better when I do get in a good amount of protein. So ketovore, protein, and movement. That's what's gonna, what, what I'm gonna focus on this week because I need to, like I said, fly by the 70s. Get out of these 80s, like what am I doing? <laughs> fly by the 70s and get into the 160s <laughs> anyways my friends it, it's a journey right it, it, it's it's a journey and, and I'm here for it I'm here for it all right guys that's it I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call it a night it's 10 11 I need to go take a shower get this off and rest all right I will see you all on my next uh, meeting at the tripod all right take care guys bye